Hi everybody, thanks for joining Create with D. Today we'll be making this little apron card. And this was recently made at a mother-daughter banquet that I helped facilitate. Um, I was in charge of the project and so um, the group made this card. And I'll have on my blog site the, um, the link for where I got this template for the apron. It's not my original design, but I'll give the link of where you could download this pattern too. So let's get started making this cute little apron card. These were the kits that everybody got. So we had a couple of extra because of course it's always better to be over prepared than under prepared, right? So what I did and what we used was the designer paper tea party, which for a mother daughter daughter banquet seemed a pretty good paper series to use. These are some of the leftover sheets um, from the pack that I had, just to show you the color tones, and they are double-sided. Okay, so we went at, I went ahead and pre-cut out the pattern with the designer paper tea party, and you can kind of see how this is going together already. Okay, and so how to make the card is just a normal size standard card stock, and I'm going to fold it in half, and I probably should have my bone folder handy here but I've got it in another room at the moment. Okay, so um, just an eight and a half by five and a half folded in half and the first step would be to go ahead and pick whatever side of the paper that you like and I love this paper. It reminds me of, of a more old-fashioned apron pattern so I'm going to use that side and with our snail adhesive We'll go ahead and just center it on the card. Okay. And then next with the Tombow glue, I'm just going to put a, a light beading of glue at the top. You could also use um, snail adhesive on this. And I've got just some pink gross grain ribbon. And I think this is cut at about 9 inches. And as you can see, I just glued to the top of our apron pattern. And this 9-inch ribbon will become our apron string. And we'll put that on. And then I'll show you how we can do um, ribbon with snail as well. And let's see, this little ribbon is oh, cut at about um, four and a half and I pre-cut it so that it would um, line up about halfway down through the apron, give or take. Um, also, oh, and we went ahead and we pre-packaged in this little Ziploc bag. And this little bag is a pill pouch. My friend found these at, um, at Walmart back around the pharmacy. Uh, I love these little pouches. This is great to hold little little goodies and assemblies in. And so what everyone got in their little pouch was a tag that said love. And I'll show you the stamp sets used here in just a second. Some buttons and a brad. So for the for the um, the buttons I'm going ahead and just use a little bit of Tombow glue. You could use Elmer's glue or other liquid glue. I like the heavy dutiness of Tombow. And we'll just line up our little buttons. Okay. And then, you know, again, all this apron and its pocket, um, I just printed out the template that I'll share on my website. And we'll just maybe center that right in there. And, whoops, where did my little flower go? There it is. So I have a white brad and punched out one of the trio blossoms for the little yellow flower and then the pre-stamped tag that says love on it and we'll just layer oops my, my fastener brad came out there we go and now we have our little love tag and I'll grab a dimensional pop that out The 
Isn't that cute? I just love that little apron. Oh, so adorable. And then for the inside of the card that we made at our Mother's Day banquet, um, we this is um, a butter or a barely banana cardstock, and it's cut at um, let's see here four by five and a quarter, and then um, we had these decorated corner punches that we used to punch out the corners of these, and then that makes a little um, corner. Um, Oh, just a little corner, um, I guess it is a corner punch, but it makes a little decorative one. Like in the old-fashioned pictures where you would tuck things into a corner, that's what this does, the corner punch. And my friend made a little Mother's Day poem that was inspired by the new stamp set called Itty Bitty Bits. This is so adorable and so sweet. It has nine little itty bitty designs that are just perfect for a little spot here or there. And her and I just fell in love with this set. And then we said, well, what could we do to incorporate that into the Mother's Day um, program? And she says, well, I'll come up with a poem. And she um, used, I think, eight or seven of the symbols that are in that. So again, check my blog. I'll have the poem in case you would like to use it with your design too. And you can see that that tucked right in there. And um, the paper size for the poem um, that fits that is three and a half by four and a half. And then we'll just take some snail adhesive and set that down. And we'll get that right on the inside of our card. And so that's it. You know, that's the Mother's Day card that we made at the Mother Daughter Banquet last weekend. I just think that is so sweet. I just love it. So for the tags, we made, we used the medium jewelry tag. This is a carryover from the Occasions Mini that um, must have been popular enough that. Um, they kept it so you can still get the medium tag punch as well as the tiny tag set. Um, so we used the, the little word love, stamped it on some just whisper white, punched it out with the medium jewelry tag and that's where we got this little love. And then again with the itty bitty bits we stamped using the soft pastel color tones that match the tea party designer pa paper and use the itty bitty punch, the round punch that went with it to punch it out. So please check my blog site if you are interested in making this cute little apron card. And happy crafting everybody. Bye bye.